everyone, welcome to Last Week on Xbox One. I'm your host, Uncle Jesse, and each week we cover the top submitted posts over on the Xbox One subreddit. Three years later, we still have the same 21 color profiles over on your Xbox One. This was a thread discussion brought to you by Gamer Raver, and I'm still amazed that this is still the case, but I have a feeling this has to do with some, you know, technical limitations that we might be running into, as some people have posted in the thread discussion, as well as just priorities. There's other things that the developer team would probably want to be focusing on instead of testing out this and building out more color options. And to be honest, I'm pretty much fine with the shades that are available there today. User 9845C something 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 or other, I don't know, your username is way too complicated, posted a thread discussion saying why on earth do game developers post that notification that the game is ready to play when in fact it just brings you into an installation loading screen for the rest of the game to install. It's a great feature on the Xbox One, I just wish more people properly used it. User Solar Psychosis letting everyone know that in Titanfall 2 over 94% of the achievements can be unlocked in this single player campaign. Some seriously great news for Titanfall 2 and it's getting some really good reviews so make sure to check it out if you haven't already. I've heard they made some huge adjustments compared to the tech tests. User Sometimes Life is Good posted this screenshot showing the calm before the storm flying into the battle. This game is so beautiful. Don't forget if you're an EA Access member, you can check out the game in its 10 hour free trial. In related Battlefield 1 news, user ZR Killer Bush posted that Battlefield 1 has outsold both Battlefield 4 as well as Hardline in its first week sales in the UK for both of those games combined. I mean, that's pretty impressive. So congrats to that team over there for putting out such a kick-ass game. All right, you guys, that was this week's show. Make sure to head on over to the reddit.com slash r slash Xbox One subreddit. Stay on top of all the latest gaming news and trends. And also make sure to check out the Party Chat podcast that we have out each and every week. All right, I'm going to leave you guys with this quick clip from Flip0024, showing off how the AI in Gears of War 4 has no mercy. All right, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye now. Happy Halloween, y'all. It's like I'm wearing an Iron Man sports bra or something like that.